Rokola Sikete, E Catala Rokova Batana Sikete. Hallelujah, glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Thank you, Eternal Father, Lord Jesus. We thank you again, Lord, for life, health, and strength. We praise you. We magnify you right now. We glorify your name, Lord. We come this morning in the name of Jesus. As the Lord moves self out of the way, let the Spirit of God rule right now. Lord, on our eyes may see, our ear may hear, our heart may precede and receive your word right now. And I pray, help us not only be here your word, we come do your word right now. We ask you bless and pray in the name of Jesus, we pray. Everybody say it. Give God a praise right now. How many have your Bible? Raise your hand. Raise your Bible. If you, this is my Bible. The Word of God. Now, after hearing God's Word today, I will never be the same. But I shall prosper from the Word which I receive this day in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, we thank and praise God this morning for being here. Our voice is about gone, but we're here. The word of God is right by itself, and everything going down but God's word. The Bible declares that the heaven and the earth shall pass away, but the word of God shall stand. I want to call your attention uh, for thought found in God's word, recorded in St. Matthew, our Lord's gospel, according to St. Matthew, the 26th chapter. Verse 40 and 41. Y'all have it? Read it together. That's everybody. Faith coming by high word of life. And hearing by what? The word of God. Matthew, the 26th chapter. Verse 40 and 41. Y'all don't hear me? Yeah. All right, I just want to know. Maybe I'm, I might be somewhere in the, in the wrong place. I know I sound like a sound funny, but the word of God is sharper than a two-edged sword. Here's even the Bible, the son of the judge of the Mara, a discerner of the thoughts and the tense of the heart. Are y'all have it? Yeah. Read. talk about this morning about watching and praying. Watching and praying. We find many times people are asleep, don't know they sleep. You ever heard people sleepwalking? You got folk right in the church are sleepwalking. No, you sleep or you, you, you're supposed to be Sleep woke, but you sleep walking. Because you hadn't had enough rest. Sometimes you have not learned how to rest in the Lord. Rest in the Lord. Instead of you resting, you're up wondering and you're worrying, and you're upset, and you, you don't know what to do. But you got to learn how to watch and pray. A lot of folks praying. Or they sit and they pray. See, that five minute prayer is not a prayer. You know, just five minutes you pray, maybe once a week. Maybe. Many times, folks eat their food, you go to the restaurant, and you may do it at home too. Go to the restaurant, they just grab and eat. They never pray, never give God reverence and thanks and honor. But we are living in a time 
if God's going to deliver you and bring you out, you must have a proud life. You must have a proud life. Not when the preacher calls for prayer, but you ought to have a time you pray. You ought to have a time that every day you ought to meet God in a specific praise and pray. You know, every, every time you meet your money, you go to that bank on time. You know what bank to go to. Well, God got treasure for you. But you have to meet God on his terms. So many times people want to meet God only when they get trouble. When they get in trouble, they know the Lord. They call God more than they ever call him because they're in trouble. But if you learn to watch and pray, no trouble will ever overtake you because your eyes are open. And, and, and a blind man can't see. You got your eyes shut. You can't see. You need to open your eyes. Talk to God in prayer. And then say, watch and pray. The Lord asked me, why can you pray just one hour with me? You ain't got the answer. Man, we're going to pray 15 minutes. Just one hour, you ought to meet God in prayer. And when you talk to God, you don't do all the talking. You got to listen. You ever try to talk to somebody on the phone and you can't get not one word in? You trying to say something, but all you hear them talking, 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 talking. But you got to talk and listen. And not only be a listener, but be a hero. Because many are listening, but they're not hearing. You ever told them about something? They said, what you say? You know why? They would listen, but they wouldn't hear it. A lot of folk come to church and they hear the man of God, proclaim the word of God. And they say, we had a good word today. And just as soon as you go out the door, ask what he preached. I don't know, but it was good. How can something be good and you don't know what it is? You don't need to know what it is. Watch and pray. Pray. See, you ain't got to just fall on your knees and pray. You ain't got to be talking out loud to pray. There was a woman named Hannah in the Bible. Hannah was a bad woman. She could not bear no children. Her friends were having babies, and, and they were making fun of her. But Hannah knew God. See, when you know God, you can go to God, and God can help you. Sometimes people sitting there helping you, they put their foot on you. They try to make it, make it seem worse. They say, ain't nobody never did this before. What is impossible to man is possible to God. God can do it. I don't care how I look, how I feel, how it may be. You got to say what you want. And believe what you said. Yes. That's uh, Mark 11, 11, 23. Yeah. We got the Lord to say the word of God. Stop speaking what somebody else speaks. A lot of times people don't believe, don't believe it no how. Everybody that running with you is not for you. Everybody that with you, most are not on your side. 
The Bible says, how can two walk together except they be in agreement? One of the problems with prayer, we try to get with folk that don't agree what you agree with. They believe one thing, and you believe something else, and you wonder why you're not having delivered. Because you're walking a body that don't have the same belief that you have, and they kind of make that thing not work. How can you walk together a self they agree? The Bible said, to come to me and touch anything, ask in my name, in a grief, I will do it. It is power in agreement. I ain't forgot him. I'm coming back to a few minutes. Not that I forgot all this. But I'm trying to tell you about you got to learn to say what the word says. Mark 11, 23 says, But verily I say unto you that whosoever, not just the preacher, not just the bishop, not just the overseer, the apostle, but whosoever, you whosoever, shall say unto his mouth. You got to open your mouth. You can't keep on closing your mouth. Now, I'm not saying about how to close your mouth. I'm going to show you why I said that. See, something you can't talk around everybody. Something you can't tell before everybody because a lot of folk will kill what you said. You have a dream, you say it, and you don't do nothing. Next thing you know, you see John, he got the dream that you said because you didn't act on what you said. James said, faith without works are dead being alone. You said then put some work behind it. Put some action behind it. Whosoever shall send his mouth to be that removed, be that cast into the sea, and shall not doubt. How many folk doubt God? How many folk doubt their wife? Doubt their husband? Doubt the church? Well, I don't think but. I don't think but. But it's a spirit or a ghost. But means that you got some resistance. You can't but the word of God. God's word stands alone. Instead of but the word, bleed the word. He that removes his cast in the sea and shall not doubt in his heart. See, the mouth can say anything. We say I believe God, but we don't do nothing. If you say it, you don't put some faith in it. The Lord said, y'all know this by heart, the Lord said back in the day, he said, let there be light. God said, then God did what? What did he do? God said and God saw what God said. You are heirs and your heir with Christ. You are the son of God. You are God child. You are God ambassador. And you have God in you. So to say that God did, you can do it because he lived in you. He said, great to work or dear, you should do than these greater work. Greater work. See, Jesus did only little work. But you can do greater work because you got the greater one in you. Greater than these shall you do. Jesus declared. But the reason we don't do greater work, because we don't have no prayer life. Handle, back to Handle. Handle couldn't bear no children. And the priest, Eli, the prophet, saw this woman on the altar. Eli did not understand what she was doing. Many times people don't understand you because their level haven't come up. And see, that's that's bad when you with people that don't have no vision. The 
thousand would have been no vision, the people perished. Eli the priest saw Hannah on the altar, and at first he thought that she was mad. But she said, man of God, I'm pouring out my soul unto God. In other words, she told God all about it. You got to know how to stop telling everybody your business and tell God. Because everybody's business is not your business, and your business is not everybody's business. Sometimes folks just are nothing but busy about it. Busy about it. That body goes from here to here to here to here in the other man's business. You don't do that. Talking about prayer. A lot of people want to pray. And when they do pray, they pray, go to the, the ceiling and bounce back on the floor. Y'all don't believe that, do you? Okay, let me show you why. You ever seen people had a grudge against somebody? I don't like James because John don't like him. So they hold a grudge against him for something he don't even know. But you come to the altar and you pray. And you think that your prayer is going to heaven. And but you keep on having that same problem. The Bible said when you come to the altar, bring your gift to the altar and remember that thy brother have ought against you. Leave your gift at the altar. Go to your brother and reconcile with him. Too many church folks. Not reconcile. Instead of reconcile, they'll leave the church and go down the street, and that same spirit you had over here is now over here. If you don't change that person's spirit, he gonna be the same. I don't care how many how many goat you dress up, you shampoo it, you give him a good bath, make it smell good. When he get through, he gonna right back to the pit. The mud pit, the hog pit, to the slop, because he is a goat. That spirit has not been changed. Now, if you're a goat, that's you. But you got to get that spirit changed. And then when you go to your brother and reconcile with your brother, if he don't want to hear you, the Bible says, bring it to the church. You don't want to do that no more. That's embarrassing. Apostle Paul said, preach the word, be us in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exalt. Reprove, rebuke, reprove, rebuke. Exalt all on suffering and doctrine for the time will come and the time has come that men will not endure sound doctrine. We live in town of folks that want to just, just, just play church. Want to play church, and you keep crying to God, but you won't do nothing. If you keep going around in a circle, y'all know how that should go. Round in a circle, round in a circle, and keep getting the same result. What's wrong? You got the same problem. And I ain't got no, I don't, don't take this offensive. But most time, folks do that, they got to be a retarded. If you keep getting the same result, you got to change. What you doing not work, you got to change. You got to line up with God's word. Stop trying to act you got it all together and you know you don't. You praying and you know your prayer ain't going nowhere. You bounce like a basketball. Hannah prayed, told God about it, and God granted her request. Whatever.
what you need, God got it. And what that about God, he is not like man. Man, I'll tell you, I got it. Come by the house. Forget that it went up the door. I didn't hear you out there. They saw you, though. <laughs> but God will supply every need. According to the riches and glory by Christ Jesus. You want to pray. Because when you try to direct your own self, you go the wrong way. Y'all read scripture in Proverbs 3, eight, verse 4 and 5. It says, it says that God will direct thy path. Lord will direct you. God will direct you. Say where you go, God can direct you. So many times, men will direct you wrong. It's just in all that way, acknowledge Him, and He shall direct that path. See, the Holy Ghost is more than just shouting, jumping, and speaking in tongues. The Holy Ghost are direct how you walking. That's right. That's right. You know you should be going to the right. Holy Ghost don't go. He said, watch it. Pray. You ought to watch your feet. Amen. Watch where you let your feet walk. Amen. Your body can't go let your feet carry you. That's right. That's right. Your feet can't go let your eyes looking. Your head can't turn let you put it out there. You got to control yourself. This ain't the devil all the time. The devil made me do it. The devil made you do that. You did it because you want to do it. Y'all act like you don't, y'all, y'all, you know the devil, the devil, it was the devil. It wasn't the devil. It was you. Paul said when I desire to do good, I find another member in me worn against the Lord of my mind. It was I. Galatians 2 20 said, I am, I am crucified. In Christ, you got to kill yourself. You want to kill everybody else. You got your finger pointing at everybody else, what they doing, but how about you? How about you? Kill yourself. Self got to die. The Bible said that I am crucified in Christ, only 2 and 20. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ that live well in you. Now, if Christ is in you, the devil can only get on you. He can't get in, he on you. And the problem with us, we allow him to ride on us. You can get on a horse. You're not in that horse, but you're on the horse and you're riding him. And you're controlling him. Stop allowing the enemy control you. God said, I give you power to tread on serpent and on scuffing. And over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. It may come on you, but it won't hurt you. See, your anointing is greater than your hurt. Your anointing is greater than your problem. Your anointing is there to bring you out. The anointing of the Holy Ghost. The power of God, yoke is starting, burning with the power of God in you is there to help you. The power said when the spirit, when the power of God comes, it comes to heal and deliver. God don't come just to make you happy. He comes to help you. The power that you that you shine with, take that power and live right. Take that power and walk right. Take that power and call those things that be not as though they were. If you sit, call yourself here. You can't sit 
there and pacify yourself. Too many folks still don't pacify. You know what pacify do? Just to quiet you down. You've been quiet down. You come to the pastor call for a prayer when you come one time and pray, and you think that's it. Ain't it. The Bible said in Isaiah 40 31 that you shall utterly fall. But they that wait, wait on the Lord, they shall renew their strength. They shall mount up as wings as an eagle. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk. They're not going to faint. But then we met to the altar. The early church, when, they, when, when persecution came out against the early church, they didn't go and hide. They went in prayer. They prayed so under the power of God, it shook the faith. Y'all don't believe that. Let's go to Acts. All right, we got to get out of here in a few minutes. Acts the fourth chapter. These folk prayed. They have power in prayer. 431. Y'all got it? Let's read it together. And when they had prayed, when they had what? When they had cried, when they, when they just had a, a, a tangent, they had a fit. You know, you ever see folk having fits? If you start having fits and start praying, you'll change some stuff. You stop crying, call everybody crying. She did this, and he did that. He, what did God do? Talk about God. Hear what God did. God is greater than your problem. God is bigger than your problem. When they had prayed, the place was shaken. When they was assembled together, when they were assembled, how? How? Together? Where that is unity? That strength. One a chase a thousand. But you find a prayer party that bleeds like you, that talk like you, that walk like you, and pray the Bible that you are put 10,000 to flight. Our problem. Who is the folk that gossip? The tailbearer. The busybody. The one that always melting in the early men. Y'all don't do that. But when they prayed, they were together. Bible said one faith, one Lord, one baptism, one Father, Father all, above all, and we're about in all. God in you. Let what's in you come out. The Bible said, out of the, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. And what you ought to speak is the word of God. Life and death, it lies in the power of your tongue. Live prayer, live power. If you spend, y'all heard this many years talk, but it really is true. If you spend sufficient time on your knees, you have no problem standing on your feet. But I have a problem, we still have a feet all the time. We never fall off a face. We never get, 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 you know, get paid. Talk to God. Cut the telephone off. Cut the TV off. Shut the door. Not just.
just the door of your eyes. No, the door of your mind. Shut it off and let God come in. Let God speak to you. God will speak to you. God want to talk to you. But the Bible says we got to be still and know them God. And I will be exalted in the earth. And I will be exalted among the enemies. God's going to be exalted. If God can't do you, he'll raise the dirt off the ground and they'll do a better sermon than you. Sometimes we feel like if I don't show up, and nothing's going to happen. You ain't got to show up for God to show up. Because God can use whoever he wants to. So many of folks think it's, it's the whole thing is about you. It's not about you. It's about God. They prayed and shake well the symbol together. They was all filled with the Holy Ghost. That clock about right or what? My time out and time still in. They all filled the Holy Ghost. And they spake the word of God with boldness. Everybody that prayed, I'm going to tell you something. You need the Holy Ghost. All right, shaking the preacher by hand, getting to go out to your heart, put all your dead brothers together in the church, your money, but you need the Holy Ghost. The Bible told you rule not by might nor by power, not by black power, white power, Political power, social power, economic power, but by the power of God. Too many folks because they're in politics. And they want to bring politics in the church. But we need God. God went to one church and said, You're an empty, rich, you rich, but you're empty without God. Your money can't buy God. Your money can't buy salvation. It can buy the tape. But it can't buy salvation. We are living in a time we got to go back to prayer. I mean, we the church go back to prayer. You see, condition or do the work in the world. But God's grace if you don't pray, you're not going to change that. You can, get, you can buy all the weapons you want to buy now. Cause terror, you want to buy weapons. But the Bible says that the name of the Lord. It is a strong tower. And the righteous, they run into it. And they are safe. Your security is in the name of the Lord. Your power is in God's name. He said, whatsoever you do in word or do in deed, do it all in the name of the Lord. Your faith is with you. With my people. With your talk. By my name. See, your people quote that, but they're not God people. Everybody not God people. He said, if my people, we can call on that shit humble themselves. There are some folks that are too high. And when you get too high for God, he too high. In order to go up, you gotta go down. The Bible says, he that, he that humble himself shall be exalted. But he that exalts himself shall be abased. Abased means you want to come down. Promotion, listen to me clear, coming not from the east, not from the north, not from the south, not from the west, but promotion coming from God. He'll take one down 
and set another up. And if God sets you up, I don't care how they lie on you, how they talk about you, how they ridicule you, how they persecute you, how they call you every day but a child of God. If God be for you, who can be against you? The Bible said that when Rhoda, Rhoda had a prayer meeting at her house, Peter was locked in jail. And Faith went in and prayed. I'm close now. Listen, I don't want to close. I'm going to close. I don't want to have it too bad. Peter was in jail again. Hand and stop from blowing. Feet and stop from blowing. They had a prayer meeting at Rhoda House. They prayed until the angel went down in prison. You ought to pray to the angel to begin to get, get busy. The angel's not going to get busy unless you command them and put them to do your work. Peter, when they pray, Peter in jail, he thought he was asleep, thought he was dreaming. Y'all thought uh, Walmart and Dale Sham and all the early players had these power doors just come over. But when Peter got to the door, the door come over. The door come over. He had no key. The door come open. Peter came to a road house. Knock on the door. Rona comes to the door. She looked at Peter. She thought, man, I'm like, hey, Peter. See, when you pray, you got to believe God. They pray and they really believe God, but God granted anyhow. Some things God go ahead and let you have you deserve. But I'm going to do it so you can come up. Peter at the door. They thought it was a spirit. But it was Peter. And just like Rolla prayed and the apostle and Jeff Rolla prayed, if you learn to pray, you can challenge the enemy. Can I give you one last little thought? Mean it. And mean it to them. You ever seen when you have a problem in school, your wife go to school, the problem still be there? But when the man show up, what happened? The problem changed. You know why? Because God gave authority to the man. He said, what is the man that I'm mouthing to some of that business that I cry with dominion? Man, you got authority. And when men show up, it, it just changed the whole atmosphere. That's why father ought to show up in your son's life. Father ought to show up in your daughter's life. Father ought to come home and be hugged. He said, when men, when men pray, he said, men ought to always pray. Now, he was talking about humanity, but he was really talking about men also. Man, I put on those pants and say, yo, man, let's pray. Let's pray and talk to God. Let, let's change our society. When you change your house, you change your community, you change your city, you change your state, and you'll be able to change the nation. But you got to start in your house. God bless you. We thank God for the word of God today. Watch and pray. Don't just pray and don't watch. Don't just watch and don't pray. But watch and pray. You know it's in, in the time of the, the uh, Christmas season. And folk are doing everything now. Some of you can watch your pocketbook. Watch your watch when you go out at nighttime. Don't go by yourself. Go with somebody. Be careful where you go. Don't do the same thing over and over every time. Change your direction. Change your palate. 
the whole white sheep. When you get to the same thing, go to the same place, they go, she do that every time. She do that every time. And be careful when you do that in your house. Everybody that comes to your house is not your friend. Folk will come to your house and turn around and rob your house. Sometimes kids, folks. All right, I'm going to stop. I want to make y'all mad. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm just telling the truth. Y'all don't like the truth. But that's why I know it's the truth. Let's stand. After hearing the word of God today, there may be somebody who's out and want to come into the house of God. make four appearance.